Hey guys, I'll be showing you how to unblick your 3DS if you have Arum 9 Loader Hacks installed. So this will not work if you do not have Arum 9 Loader Hacks installed, so don't ask like in the comments section if it does. It will not. So this does not require a hard mod. You do not need to send your 3DS off to someone. This is relatively simple and takes only a couple minutes to complete. So let's get started. When you installed Arum 9 Loader Hacks, you should have a lot of stuff. So, I'm generally a very organized person, so I have like all the new stuff from like step 5 in here, and I have all the stuff from before step 5 in here. But that doesn't really matter. You're going to search for the file called systemnand underscore original dot bin that you created. Your folder structure will not look exactly like mine, but you but the file will be located somewhere in your Arm 9 loader hacks folder. So mine happens to be inside the old folder, and then here it is. So we're going to copy this to the root of our SD card. So right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it here. So I have, I have the exact same file, so I'll just hit don't copy because it's the exact same thing. But once that's done, it might take a minute or two, you're going to eject your SD card, and I'll meet you on my 3DS. Okay, so I'm on my 3DS, and right now it is not on. I have it turned off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold down the L and the R buttons at the same time, and then I'm going to hit the power button. So it should instantly load into Decrypt 9 WIP. And in case you're wondering, the way we are able to load into this is because Arm 9 Loader Hacks gains very early access to the system kernel, so we're able to load into this without loading anything else first. It's, it's very early access, so that's why we're able to unbrick, and we're not able to unbrick by using the internet browser or, or system settings or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to press A to continue. You will probably get this initialization partly failed. That's because 0x1b key is not found. The ARM9 loader hex guide did not tell you to get this, so don't worry about that. So just press A to continue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to system and options. You just hit the down button twice. And then go to um, system and backup slash restore. And then you're going to do NAND restore and then keep ARM9 loader hacks. You can do either one of these. All three of these options work. But this one just keeps ARM9 loader hacks so you do not have to do this two to three hour process over again. So just press A over it. If you wish to proceed, enter this. So left, up, right, up, A. Use the arrow keys to choose a file. So the file that we just copied was named systemnandoriginal.bin. So you might have to use the left and right arrow keys or the up and down ones to find it. And then, so once you find this, you just press A to install it. But however, since my system NAND is not bricked, I'm just making this tutorial. I'm not going to install it. But if yours was, you would just click the A button and it would install it and everything should work after that. If it doesn't, you can try this again. And if you're soft bricked, that means that like you do not get a blue screen, but you just get a black screen when turning on your 3DS. You can click right here on the video, and I will have a link to my tutorial on how to unsoft brick. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos, tutorials, and gateway cheats and stuff. And I'll see you later.